Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is baking day for me and I'm so excited. So, I did wake up not feeling so great this morning. I've been feeling, I just woke up feeling like I'm getting a cold. Just, you know, it's that time of year. So I've been trying to pace myself. I went and bought some Sudafed, took that, and I think it's helping, and I took some Advil, <laughs> and I'm trying to push through, but that's just what we do. That's what moms do at Christmas, right? We gotta push through. And I will have so much help today, though. I almost decided to maybe we should do this tomorrow, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have both my sisters, my daughters, my nieces, my mom. I'm not gonna worry about it. Everybody wants to pitch in. That's the whole idea anyways, right? We do baking day, everybody helps bake. So I don't have to do it all myself. And that's the only way I'm gonna be able to make it through this day is to have lots of help. So um, it's actually three o'clock in the afternoon. So our baking day is supposed to start about 4.30, 5 o'clock is when everybody's gonna be here. So I'm gonna get a few things started before. I'm gonna be making like just finger foods for dinner. And then I think I have about six different things I wanna make, but we don't always get to all of them it just depends on how much we get done and i have a really small kitchen and a lot of people in here it's, it's hard to you know we can't really like spread out so much so but we always have so much fun i actually offered to have it over at my sister's airbnb because they have this massive island like i'll show it to you on christmas it's massive but they all said no we always do it in erica's house we gotta do it there and i was like okay perfect i love having it here but i just want everybody to be comfortable but i love traditions and i love that they love to come over here to do this. So what I always do is make a big batch of sugar cookie dough and then when everybody gets here, they cut out the cookies, we bake them, they decorate them. That's like one of the, you know, highlights of the baking day, but I have not done that yet. So if I have time before everybody gets here, I will. And if not, everybody will pitch in and help out. But I'm going to get a few things started. So I'm gonna show you, I've not ever made this before and I did talk about that I was going to. The Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake Dip it's all over Pinterest, all over the internet, you can find it. But I was only able to, I bought one box and I went back thinking uh, I wanted another box to make a bigger batch, but couldn't find any at Walmart and I couldn't find any at Kroger. So I was like, oh, five little Christmas trees will have to work. So what you do is you like chop them up and there's different recipes. One of them is just Cool Whip Vanilla and these chopped up and then one of them says to pulse them until they're like finely ground but i don't want to do that because i want there to be like chunks of it in the dip and the one one of them calls for cream cheese so i'm actually going to do cool whip cream cheese vanilla and the christmas tree cakes and just mix them up really good put them in a bowl put it in the refrigerator and then i have pretzels and graham crackers that will dip in them and there's obviously going to be enough sugar going around that we don't need anymore so it's totally fine but i thought we could snack on that while everything is like being made and i also i'm going to make some chicken salad croissants and some turkey little sliders chips and dip and some fruit i need to cut up so i was going to try to get like those things done and then when everybody else gets here we can do all the baking and you know it'll all work out and it's gonna be fun I am worried about Madison she woke up pretty sick so she did have to go to work though she's been taking some Advil and making it she gets off in an hour so she said she was, still wanted to come over and I said if you come over and you just need to lay down and rest that's totally fine but she doesn't want to miss out on you know baking day it's our tradition so I got my cookie baking crew shirt on I made this with my Cricut and I've been waiting for this day to wear it. I also got me a brand new apron. I'll show you. I got it at Hobby Lobby for like $6 for when it was 60% off. And it's so cute. I have this nice space right here to hang my aprons. This is my other Christmassy one. But I bought this this year and I love it. I just think it's so pretty. So I got to pull that out for sure. I got to wear that. And it's going to be a fun day. Today is, we talked about maybe changing it to tomorrow like I said. But Tomorrow is supposed to be like icy and rainy and windy and then Friday is when we are getting that like cold blast of air. It's supposed to come through like during the night, early morning. Uh, they said, I think by like eight or nine it will have passed through and then everything is supposed to like flash freeze from everything that, cause all, we're supposed to get like an inch of rain tomorrow and then everything's gonna flash freeze. So to Friday, it's gonna be treacherous. I'm not really sure what our plans will be because we had plans to go out that evening and I don't know we got to play it by ear some nasty weather coming but I know all of you all all across the country are dealing with it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started on a few things I did get everything cleaned up and Jackson helped me we got the house clean so that was like the main thing I wanted to do and then the rest will take care of itself but I'm gonna vlog I hope that you enjoy spending our baking day with us 
All right, so I'm just using half of a block of cream cheese and it's kind of softened a little bit. And I'm just gonna do like a splash of vanilla. I'm not gonna link this down below because it's just, they're everywhere, the recipes, and you can just do it however you want. But I did read that you need to use extra creamy Cool Whip, that that makes it really good. So we're gonna add a tub of that to this. I'm trying to make my cord reach, uh, and then we'll put the cakes in, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator. I actually think I'm gonna put the cakes in first, and then just kind of like fold in the Cool Whip, maybe? I don't know. I'm just winging it. Look at that. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. That's definitely two thumbs up. So good. So I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator with some plastic wrap over it and keep on going. <laughs> so I'm making chicken salad now. I just use the cans of chicken, the, just the great value. And I always kind of go through it and get out any like pieces of fat and stuff in it. So I know it's all chicken, you know, I'm worried about meat. And then I put just a little tiny bit of very finely diced onion, just in case people don't really love that. I can't give you measurements, but you know, everybody makes chicken salad their own way. I'll just put mayonnaise, mustard, some garlic powder, and I'm gonna add grapes this time. I don't always add grapes, I don't always have them, but I'm gonna chop some up and add them to it. I think it'll be fine with everyone. And it's delicious. I'm gonna put this on some croissants. It'll be so good. So the first candy, I guess, I'm gonna be making, it's called Crock-Pot Candy, and I'll try to link it down below. You take two pounds of almond bark, vanilla, and then one of these bars of German chocolate, and then 12 ounces chocolate chips, and one, let's see, you put, this is two pounds, you put like one and a half pounds of peanuts, you should put it in the Crock-Pot, let it cook for an hour, and then you stir it, and then you let it cook for another hour, and stirring every 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this going in the crock pot.
right, time for the no bakes. We're doubling the batch, so that is 16 cups of no, four cups of sugar. We did 16, 16 quarter cups. Yeah, I'm like 16. Wait a minute, that's a lot. Uh, no, but it's a double batch. This is actually a recipe I got from Mandy in the making, and it's so good. And the cookies are <laughs> are a disaster. <laughs> They all stuck. I don't know what happened. But these troopers. These troopers. Alright, so the vanilla. Where's the vanilla? Jessa. They are in there making their masterpieces, our cookie dough. I told Andrew to add the flour to the cookie dough and she thought that it was a one cup scoop in my flour and it was a half cup, so it only had half the amount of flour. So they did not turn out, but they are making lemonade out of lemons. They are enjoying it immensely, making really cool, really cool uh, cookies. So uh, I'll show you all the really, really cool ones they made. But anyways, I was saying we're making our famous pralines. I forgot I was recording that and we're almost done, but don't they look amazing? It's tradition for Andrew and I to make pralines and either on Christmas or on baking day. So we always ruin the first batch, but we think this one is good. I know, it's a miracle, it's a Christmas miracle. We we gotta get us a candy thermometer one of these days, but Okay, Point cookie right voting. He, Andrew doesn't know who's anyone is. I right, so know. listen, you cannot, you pick one cookie, it cannot be your own. I'm oh, gonna is be it first thing on third? Pick I'm one cookie, three cannot three be your three own. Three. Everybody's gonna point to their Wait, one favorite cookie. Oh, I gotta find my favorite cookie. I feel like we should have Grandma doesn't want to vote, she doesn't want to choose people. She feels like we should have two favorites. Yeah, two favorites each. Two favorites, so first place. How about everybody, everybody? Okay, first place, first place. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, okay, looks like that one right there, the Miami Dolphins. Is that yours? No, it's mine. It's Angela's, of course it's Angela's. Angela, hold your cookie. If only it was a Cowboys. Wait, somebody hold up the third place. Brandon. That is pretty amazing. Let me Ella's. see. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. Angela. Just, just right, so second place. Second this place. Is and yeah. yeah, Brandon. That was my second place vote. <laughs> good job. Good job. An honorable mention. The little honorable mention. I think this is. is yeah. I think this is yeah. my, yeah. This was yeah. my yeah. first yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. who did this one? Who did this yeah. one? I loved it. Alexa, your second. And the fidget spinner. This is cute. Erica, I did. I did. All right. There's one tray. This is an enormous amount of sugar. We got a lot of people, but that's one tray. And this is my dirty dishes. And then there's another tray. It's crazy how much Rocco really wants oh, to be a star yeah. on my oh, vlog. Right there. Right there. All right, it is time to end this vlog. It's been a long day. It is, um, I think it's almost 1 a.m. Oh, it's after 1 a.m. I realized about 10 30, 10 45, everybody was leaving. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't even edited my video. So <laughs> had to sit down and get that done. I wanted to get that up for y'all. But we had a wonderful day. I'm feeling the whole sinusy stuff coming back. I'll probably take some Sudafed before I go to bed. But I made it through the day. It was a lot of fun. I didn't, it just seemed like more and more people kept coming. and. We had a house full. My sister's family and was all here. And anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I hope that you enjoyed our baking day. I don't even know the footage I got, and I know people were stealing my camera and taking their own footage. So hopefully, hopefully it's a good one. But um, I'm gonna edit this one for you tomorrow. <coughs> we have 
a cold front coming in right now and there's like a wintry mix outside and then we're supposed to have um tomorrow's supposed to be rain and then cold and then the next day it's supposed to be around morning time around sunrise the temperature's supposed to be in the 40s and then drop to like 10 degrees with crazy wind so friday's gonna be really crazy for us but i'll be vlogging that day so i'll make sure to share with you you know what's happening but i'm gonna go to bed so thanks for watching make sure to give this a thumbs up i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow bye, -bye.